Greetings and welcome. Today, we embark on a journey to explore a concept that has shaped the course of history and continues to mould our present and future. In the grand theatre of life, we are all players and playwrights. Each of us, with our unique scripts, contributes to the unfolding drama of existence. We are actors, taking on roles both grand and humble. From the moment we wake up to the time we rest, we are constantly engaging in performances, whether at work, at home or in social settings. But true mastery, true impact lies in the ability to not just play your part, but to influence the entire performance. This influence extends beyond mere actions. It encompasses the ability to inspire, to motivate and to lead others towards a common goal. This is the power, the art of managing people. It is an art that requires empathy, understanding and a keen insight into human nature. From the bustling marketplaces of ancient Babylon to the boardrooms of modern metropolises, the principles of influence and leadership have remained constant. They are the threads that connect our past to our present. The ability to lead and inspire others has been the driving force behind every great civilization, every groundbreaking innovation. It is the catalyst for progress and the engine of human achievement. Every human achievement of significance, from the construction of the pyramids to the digital revolution, has been fueled by the power of influence. It is the invisible hand that guides us towards greatness. It is a timeless principle woven into the very fabric of our existence. Just as a tapestry is made up of countless threads, our lives are intertwined with the influences of those around us. We are all, in our own ways, managers of men. Whether we realise it or not, our actions and words have the power to shape the thoughts and behaviours of others. Whether we lead teams of hundreds or simply navigate the complexities of family and social circles, the principles of influence remain the same. It is about understanding, connecting and guiding. Understanding the nuances of human behaviour is paramount to our success and fulfilment. It is through this understanding that we can truly harness the power of influence and make a lasting impact on the world around us. To truly grasp the complexities of managing people, we must first acknowledge the rich tapestry of humanity itself. Each individual is a universe unto themselves, shaped by a unique blend of experiences, beliefs and aspirations. To assume a one-size-fits-all approach to leadership is to invite dissonance and discord. Just as a master craftsman carefully selects the right tools and techniques for each specific task, so too must we, as leaders, tailor our approach to the individual needs and motivations of those we seek to guide. This requires not just knowledge, but a deep and abiding empathy for the human condition. To manage effectively, we must learn to see the world through the eyes of others, to understand their perspectives, their fears, their dreams. Only then can we truly connect with them on a human level and inspire them to achieve their full potential. Throughout history, the annals of time are replete with examples of both exceptional and disastrous leadership. The actions and decisions of leaders have left indelible marks on the course of human events, shaping societies, cultures and the very fabric of civilization itself. From the visionary leadership of Alexander the Great, who united disparate cultures under a common banner, his conquests stretched from Greece to Egypt and into the heart of Asia. Alexander's ability to inspire and lead his men through countless battles and hardships is legendary. His vision of a unified world, though short-lived, set the stage for the Hellenistic period, where Greek culture and ideas spread far and wide. To the catastrophic reign of terror unleashed by Genghis Khan, whose brutal tactics and relentless campaigns created one of the largest empires in history. Genghis Khan's leadership was marked by both strategic brilliance and ruthless efficiency. His ability to mobilize and command a vast and diverse army reshaped the political landscape of Asia and Europe, leaving a legacy of both fear and respect. The consequences of leadership, for better or worse, have shaped the destiny of nations. Leaders have the power to unite or divide, to build or destroy. Their decisions can lead to prosperity and peace or to conflict and ruin. The impact of their leadership extends beyond their lifetimes, influencing generations to come. 
The Roman Empire, a civilization that once spanned continents, was built not just on military might, but on the astute leadership of men like Julius Caesar, who understood the importance of inspiring loyalty and fostering a shared sense of purpose amongst his legions. Caesar's reforms and policies helped to stabilize and expand the empire, creating a legacy that would endure for centuries. His ability to connect with his soldiers, to lead by example, and to make strategic decisions in the heat of battle were key to his success. The loyalty he inspired in his men was a testament to his leadership skills, and it played a crucial role in the expansion and consolidation of the Roman Empire. Conversely, the fall of Rome stands as a stark reminder of the perils of ineffective leadership, rife with internal strife and corruption. The once mighty empire crumbled under the weight of its own inefficiencies and the inability of its leaders to address the growing challenges. The decline of Rome serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of strong ethical leadership. These historical figures, both revered and reviled, serve as powerful reminders that the ability to manage people effectively is not merely a desirable skill, but a profound responsibility. Leadership is not just about wielding power, it is about guiding, inspiring, and making decisions that benefit the greater good. The legacies of these leaders, whether positive or negative, highlight the profound impact that leadership can have on the world. It is a responsibility that demands our constant attention, our unwavering commitment to growth and self-reflection. In today's world, the lessons of history are more relevant than ever. As we face new challenges and opportunities, the need for effective ethical leadership is paramount. By learning from the successes and failures of the past, we can strive to shape a better future for all. In today's rapidly evolving world, where technology often takes centre stage, it is easy to overlook the enduring importance of the human factor. But the truth is, no matter how advanced our machines become, it is ultimately people who drive progress, who innovate, who create, who build. In this age of artificial intelligence and automation, the ability to connect with and inspire others, to foster collaboration and ignite passion, will be the defining characteristic of truly effective leaders. It is a skill that transcends industries and sectors, a timeless art that remains as relevant today as it was in the time of the pharaohs. This is where M Yoga Coaching and Consulting comes in. We are dedicated to helping individuals and organizations alike unlock their full leadership potential to master the art of people management and drive meaningful, lasting success. History, my friends, is not a dusty tome filled with faded ink and forgotten names. No, history is a living, breathing entity, whispering its wisdom through the ages. And if we listen closely, we can learn a great deal about the art of managing people from those who came before us. From the sun-drenched plains of ancient Egypt to the windswept steppes of Mongolia, great leaders have risen, leaving their indelible mark on the world. Some ruled through might, others through wisdom, but all understood that true power lay in the ability to command the hearts and minds of men. Their stories, etched in stone and sung by bards, offer us invaluable insights into the timeless principles of leadership, principles that transcend time and circumstance, principles that are as relevant in today's boardrooms as they were on the battlefields of antiquity. Consider, if you will, Gaius Julius Caesar, a name synonymous with power, ambition, and military genius. Caesar's rise to prominence was not merely a consequence of his tactical brilliance on the battlefield, but also his astute understanding of human nature. He knew that loyalty once earned was a weapon far mightier than any sword. He instilled in his legions a sense of shared purpose, a belief that they were fighting not just for Rome, but for their own glory and prosperity. Caesar understood the importance of rewarding loyalty, of recognizing and promoting talent from within the ranks. This approach, combined with his charisma and his genuine concern for the well-being of his men, earned him their unwavering devotion.
Caesar's legions, bound to him by ties of respect and admiration, became an unstoppable force, conquering vast territories and securing Rome's position as the dominant power in the ancient world. His ability to inspire and motivate, to forge a cohesive unit from a diverse group of men, was instrumental in his success. But Caesar's legacy extends far beyond his military conquests. He was a shrewd politician, a gifted orator, and a visionary leader who understood that true power lay not just in wielding force, but in shaping the hearts and minds of the people. His example teaches us that effective leadership is not about barking orders from a distance, but about leading from the front, about inspiring by example, about fostering a culture of trust and mutual respect. Now let us journey to a different time, a different continent, to witness the power of a leader who eschewed violence and embraced peace. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, the Mahatma, the great soul, stands as a testament to the transformative power of non-violent resistance. Gandhi, a lawyer by training, returned to his homeland of India after decades abroad, only to find it under the yoke of British colonial rule. Armed with nothing more than his unwavering faith in the inherent goodness of humanity and his unshakable belief in the power of truth, he embarked on a path of passive resistance. Gandhi understood that true strength lay not in physical might, but in moral courage. He recognized the inherent dignity of every human being, regardless of their station in life, and he appealed to their better angels. Gandhi's message of non-violence resonated deeply with the Indian people who had long endured the injustices of colonial rule. He mobilized millions, not through threats or coercion, but through the sheer force of his personality and the power of his convictions. His leadership was rooted in empathy, in the ability to understand and articulate the hopes and aspirations of the masses. He led by example, living a life of simplicity and austerity, sharing in the struggles and sacrifices of his followers. Gandhi's movement, though non-violent, was not without its challenges. He and his followers faced imprisonment, brutality, and even death at the hands of the colonial authorities. But their spirit remained unbroken, their resolve unwavering. Gandhi's unwavering belief in the righteousness of his cause, his refusal to be cowed by threats or violence, inspired millions to join his movement. He understood that true leadership requires not just a clear vision, but an unshakable faith in one's ability to achieve it. His example teaches us that the path to success is rarely smooth, that there will be setbacks, disappointments and moments of doubt. But it is in these moments that true leaders are forged their resolve tempered by adversity, their commitment to their cause strengthened by the fires of resistance. Gandhi's message resonates even more profoundly in our modern world, where conflict and division seem to dominate the headlines. His life and teachings serve as a beacon of hope, a reminder that lasting change is possible through peaceful means. The art of communication, building bridges. But let us delve deeper, my friends, into the practicalities of this art we call people management. For it is not enough to simply admire the greats of history, we must strive to emulate their virtues, to apply their wisdom to our own lives. And what better place to begin than with the very foundation of human interaction, communication. Words, my friends, are not mere sounds that escape our lips. They are instruments of immense power, capable of building bridges or igniting fires. A skilled leader understands the nuances of language, the importance of clarity, conciseness and, above all, empathy. To truly connect with others, we must learn to listen, not just with our ears, but with our hearts and minds. The Power of Empathy stepping into another's shoes. Empathy, my friends, is the ability to see the world through the eyes of another, 
to understand their perspectives, their motivations, their hopes and fears. It is the cornerstone of effective communication, the bridge that allows us to connect with others on a deeper, more meaningful level. Think back to a time when you felt truly understood, when someone listened to you without judgment, with genuine interest and concern. Did it not make you feel valued, respected, heard? This is the power of empathy. It is the ability to step outside of our own experiences and truly inhabit the world of another. It is a skill that can be cultivated, honed and mastered with practice and conscious effort. Delegation, empowering others to excel. But effective leadership is not solely about communication, it is also about knowing when to relinquish control, to trust others with responsibility, to empower them to grow and excel. This, my friends, is the art of delegation. A wise leader understands that they cannot do everything themselves. They recognize the strengths and talents of those around them and delegate tasks accordingly, fostering a sense of ownership and accountability within their team. Delegation, when done effectively, is not simply about offloading tasks. It is about fostering growth, developing talent, and creating a more engaged and empowered workforce. It is about recognizing that the success of the team is paramount to individual achievement. Recognizing merit, the foundation of trust. And what, you might ask, is the key to building this sense of trust and mutual respect within a team? It is, my friends, the willingness to recognize and reward merit, to acknowledge and appreciate the contributions of each individual. A simple word of praise, a gesture of appreciation, can go a long way in motivating and inspiring those around us. It is about creating a culture where hard work and dedication are acknowledged, where individuals feel valued and appreciated for their contributions. For when individuals feel valued, when they know that their efforts are recognized and appreciated, they are far more likely to go above and beyond, to invest themselves fully in the success of the team. Constructive feedback, the guiding hand, but let us not shy away from the other side of the coin, my friends. For effective leadership also requires the ability to provide constructive feedback, to guide and mentor those who may be struggling, to help them improve and reach their full potential. Constructive feedback is not about criticizing or belittling. It is about identifying areas for improvement and offering guidance and support. It is about approaching these conversations with empathy and understanding, with a genuine desire to help the individual grow and develop. Remember, my friends, that feedback is a gift, an opportunity for growth and development. When delivered with care and respect, it can be an invaluable tool for personal and professional development. Conflict resolution, turning discord into harmony. Conflict, my friends, is an inevitable part of any human interaction. Whether it arises from differing opinions, personality clashes, or simply the pressures of a demanding work environment, it is essential that leaders possess the skills to navigate these choppy waters effectively. The key to successful conflict resolution lies in fostering an environment where open and honest communication is encouraged, where individuals feel safe expressing their concerns without fear of reprisal. Remember, my friends, that conflict, when handled correctly, can actually be an opportunity for growth, a chance to address underlying issues and emerge stronger as a team. Ultimately, my friends, the art of managing people is about cultivating a culture of growth. A culture where individuals feel challenged and supported, where they are empowered to take risks, to learn from their mistakes and to strive for continuous improvement. It is about creating an environment where individuals feel valued, not just for their skills and experience, but for their unique perspectives, their creativity and their willingness to contribute to something larger than themselves. 
This, my friends, is the true hallmark of effective leadership. The ability to create an environment where individuals thrive, where they are inspired to reach their full potential, and where they are proud to contribute to a shared vision of success. Now, some may scoff, my friends, at the notion of studying something as seemingly intangible as human behavior. They may dismiss it as an art, not a science, subject to the whims of individual personalities and the vagaries of circumstance. But I say to them, look to the evidence. For just as the astronomer charts the movement of the stars and the biologist unravels the mysteries of the human genome, so too have generations of scholars dedicated themselves to understanding the complexities of the human mind and how it shapes our interactions with others. Their findings, meticulously documented and rigorously tested, provide us with a framework for understanding the science behind effective people management. They offer us insights into the motivations, the drivers, the very essence of what makes us tick. Consider, for instance, the groundbreaking Hawthorne studies conducted in the 1920s and 30s at the Western Electric Hawthorne Works in Chicago. These studies, initially designed to examine the relationship between lighting levels and worker productivity, yielded some unexpected and profound results. The researchers found that productivity increased not just when lighting was improved, but also when it was dimmed. Why, you might ask? Because the workers, you see, felt valued, observed, acknowledged. The simple act of paying attention to them, of treating them as individuals worthy of study, had a transformative effect on their morale and their output. This, my friends, became known as the Hawthorne effect, and it revolutionized the way we think about workplace motivation. It highlighted the critical importance of creating an environment where individuals feel seen, heard, and appreciated. Maslow's hierarchy, ascending to fulfillment. And then we have the seminal work of Abraham Maslow, who in 1943 proposed his now famous hierarchy of needs. Maslow posited that human beings are motivated by a hierarchy of needs, ranging from the most basic physiological needs, such as food and shelter, to the highest needs for self-actualization and personal fulfillment. This hierarchy, often depicted as a pyramid, suggests that individuals must first satisfy their lower level needs before they can move on to pursue higher level needs. In the context of the workplace, this means that before we can expect employees to be creative, engaged and productive, we must first ensure that their basic needs for security, belonging and esteem are met. Maslow's theory provided a powerful framework for understanding employee motivation and highlighted the importance of creating a work environment that supports the holistic well-being of individuals. By addressing these needs, organizations can foster a more motivated and dedicated workforce. For instance, ensuring that employees feel secure in their jobs can reduce anxiety and increase focus. Providing health benefits and wellness programs can address physiological and safety needs. Encouraging teamwork and collaboration can fulfill social needs, fostering a sense of belonging. Recognizing and rewarding achievements can boost esteem, making employees feel valued and respected. Finally, providing opportunities for personal and professional growth can help employees achieve self-actualization. A diverse and inclusive environment also plays a crucial role in meeting these needs as it promotes respect and understanding. Cultural events and activities can further enhance the sense of community and belonging within the organization. In conclusion, Maslow's hierarchy of needs is not just a theoretical concept, but a practical guide for creating a fulfilling workplace. By understanding and addressing these needs, organizations can create an environment where employees thrive and succeed. Ultimately, this leads to a more productive, innovative and successful organization. Ascending to fulfillment is a journey and with the right approach, it is a journey that benefits everyone involved. Hertzberg's two-factor theory, drivers of satisfaction. Building on Maslow's work, Frederick Hertzberg, in his 1959 publication, The Motivation to Work, 
proposed his two-factor theory, also known as the motivation hygiene theory. Hertzberg argued that job satisfaction and job dissatisfaction are not simply opposite ends of a single spectrum, but are influenced by two distinct sets of factors. Hygiene factors such as salary, working conditions and company policies are essential for preventing job dissatisfaction, but they do not necessarily lead to job satisfaction. Motivators, on the other hand, such as challenging work, recognition and opportunities for growth, are the key drivers of job satisfaction and high performance. Hertzberg's theory underscored the importance of designing jobs that are not only functional and efficient, but also meaningful and engaging for employees. Expectancy theory, the power of anticipation. Moving into the realm of cognitive theories, we encounter Victor Vroom's expectancy theory, first proposed in 1964. Vroom argued that individuals are motivated to act based on their expectations of the likely outcomes of their actions. In essence, we are more likely to put in the effort if we believe that our efforts will lead to good performance, that good performance will be rewarded, and that the rewards offered are valuable to us. This simple yet powerful framework highlights the importance of setting clear goals, providing regular feedback, and ensuring that rewards and recognition are aligned with individual values and aspirations. Vroom's theory provided a valuable tool for understanding how individuals make decisions about their work effort and how leaders can create an environment that fosters motivation and high performance. Equity theory, balancing the scales of fairness. But motivation, my friends, is not solely driven by our own expectations. It is also influenced by our perceptions of fairness and equity. This is where John Stacy Adams's equity theory, proposed in 1963, comes into play. Adams argued that individuals are motivated to maintain a sense of equity between their inputs, effort, skills, experience, and their outcomes, pay, recognition, opportunities, relative to others in similar positions. When we perceive inequity, we experience dissonance, which can lead to decreased motivation, reduced effort, or even attempts to restore equity through counterproductive behaviors. Transformational leadership, igniting passion and purpose. And finally, no discussion of people management would be complete without acknowledging the profound impact of transformational leadership. This style of leadership, championed by Bernard M. Bass and James McGregor Burns, emphasizes the leader's ability to inspire and motivate followers to achieve extraordinary things. Transformational leaders, unlike transactional leaders who focus on rewards and punishments, appeal to their followers' higher ideals, their sense of purpose, their desire to make a difference. They articulate a compelling vision of the future, empower their followers to achieve it, and foster a culture of trust, collaboration, and innovation. Research has consistently shown that transformational leadership is positively correlated with higher levels of employee engagement, job satisfaction, and organizational performance. A legacy of insight. These theories, my friends, are but a glimpse into the vast and ever-evolving field of people management research. They represent decades of meticulous study, of observing human behaviour in the workplace, of testing hypotheses and refining models. And while no single theory can fully capture the complexities of human motivation and interaction, together they provide us with a powerful framework for understanding the science behind effective leadership. They offer us insights into how to create work environments where individuals feel valued, challenged and inspired to reach their full potential. But knowledge without action, my friends, is like a seed unplanted. It is in the application of these principles in the daily practice of empathy, communication and empowerment that we truly master the art of people management. Here at Imjoga Coaching and Consulting, 
We don't just talk about these principles, my friends, we embody them. We live and breathe them, weaving them into the very fabric of our approach to career excellence. We believe that every individual possesses a unique set of talents and aspirations, a hidden reservoir of potential waiting to be unlocked. Our mission, our calling, is to guide you on this journey of self-discovery, to help you identify your strengths, overcome your limiting beliefs, and chart a course towards a fulfilling and impactful career. Just as a master craftsman carefully selects the right tools and techniques for each specific task, so too do we tailor our approach to meet the unique needs of each individual we serve. We understand that there is no one-size-fits-all solution when it comes to career development. That's why we begin every engagement with a deep dive into your unique story, your aspirations, your challenges. We listen intently, my friends, not just with our ears, but with our hearts and minds, seeking to truly understand your perspective, your motivations, your definition of success. Only then can we begin to craft a personalized roadmap, a strategic plan designed to guide you towards your desired destination. This is not a passive process, my friends. We believe in active participation in empowering you to take ownership of your career trajectory. We'll challenge you to step outside of your comfort zone, to embrace new perspectives, to develop the skills and confidence you need to excel. We place a strong emphasis on communication mastery, for we understand that the ability to articulate your ideas clearly and persuasively is paramount to your success in any field. We'll work with you to hone your communication skills across all channels, from crafting compelling written materials to delivering impactful presentations to mastering the art of networking and building meaningful professional relationships. Remember, my friends, words have the power to inspire, to persuade, to create lasting impact. And we'll equip you with the tools and techniques you need to harness this power effectively. But effective communication, my friends, goes far beyond simply speaking well. It requires empathy, the ability to understand and connect with others on a deeper level. We'll guide you in developing your emotional intelligence, your ability to read social cues, to navigate challenging conversations with grace and diplomacy. We'll help you cultivate the self-awareness and social skills needed to build strong, lasting relationships, both professionally and personally. For in today's interconnected world, my friends, the ability to connect with others, to build bridges of understanding, is more valuable than ever before. Delegation done right, cultivating trust and empowerment. We also understand the importance of delegation, of empowering others to contribute their talents and expertise. We'll work with you to develop your leadership skills, teaching you how to delegate effectively to motivate and inspire those around you. Delegation, when done right, is not about abdicating responsibility, my friends, but about fostering a culture of trust and shared ownership. It's about recognizing the strengths of each team member and empowering them to contribute their unique talents to a shared vision. We'll guide you in creating a supportive and collaborative work environment where individuals feel valued, challenged and inspired to do their best work. The art of feedback, a catalyst for growth. And of course, no discussion of people management would be complete without acknowledging the importance of feedback. We believe that feedback, when delivered constructively and with empathy, is an invaluable tool for growth and development. We'll work with you to develop your ability to both give and receive feedback effectively, to create a culture of continuous learning and improvement within your team. Remember, my friends, Feedback is not about criticism, but about guidance. It's about helping others identify their blind spots, build on their strengths, and reach their full potential.
navigating conflict, charting a course through choppy waters. Conflict, my friends, is an inevitable part of any human interaction, but it doesn't have to be destructive. In fact, when handled effectively, conflict can be an opportunity for growth, a chance to clear the air, to strengthen relationships, and to emerge stronger as a team. We'll equip you with the skills and strategies you need to navigate conflict effectively, to mediate disputes, to find common ground, and to transform disagreements into opportunities for positive change. Remember, my friends, conflict avoidance is not the same as conflict resolution. A culture of excellence, sowing the seeds of success. At M. Jehoga Coaching and Consulting, we are committed to helping you cultivate a culture of excellence within your team. A culture where individuals feel valued, challenged and inspired to reach their full potential. We believe that by embodying the principles we've discussed today, by embracing empathy, communication and empowerment, you can unlock the hidden potential within your team and achieve extraordinary results. So, my friends, if you're ready to embark on this journey of transformation, to master the art of people management and unlock your full leadership potential, we invite you to join us. The journey ahead. The path to mastering the art of people management, my friends, is not a solitary one. It is a journey of continuous learning, of self-reflection, of embracing new perspectives and honing your skills. It requires dedication, perseverance, and an unwavering belief in your own ability to lead and inspire others. But you don't have to navigate this path alone. Here at Mjoga Coaching and Consulting, we stand ready to be your trusted guide, your ally in growth, your partner in achieving career excellence. We understand that the challenges you face as leaders, as managers, as individuals striving to make a difference in the world can be daunting. But we also know that within each challenge lies an opportunity for growth, for transformation, for achieving breakthroughs that once seemed impossible. We've spent years, my friends, studying the art and science of people management, drawing upon the wisdom of the ages and the latest research to develop proven strategies and techniques that deliver real, tangible results. Our team of experienced coach and consultants are not just experts in their fields, they are passionate advocates for your success. They will listen intently to your unique challenges, provide you with personalized guidance and support, and empower you to unlock your full leadership potential. We believe in a collaborative approach, working side by side with you to develop a customized plan that aligns with your specific goals and aspirations. We'll provide you with the tools, the techniques, and the unwavering support you need to navigate the complexities of people management with confidence and grace. And to demonstrate our commitment to your success, we're offering you a complimentary career breakthrough call. This is an opportunity for you to connect with our expert coach, Dr. Joga, to discuss your unique challenges and aspirations, and to discover how M. Joga Coaching and Consulting can help you achieve your full potential. This is not a sales pitch, my friends, but a genuine conversation, a chance for us to get to know you better and to explore how we can best serve you on your journey to career excellence. So don't delay. Visit our website or click on our Calendly link in the description box below to schedule your complimentary career breakthrough call. It could be the first step towards unlocking a future filled with purpose, impact and extraordinary achievement. The time for action, my friends, is now. The world needs leaders who are not afraid to embrace the challenges of our time, who understand the power of human connection and who are committed to building a better future for all. Don't let fear or uncertainty hold you back. Embrace the opportunity to master the art of people management, to become the leader you were always meant to be. Remember the words of the great Nelson Mandela, it always seems impossible until it's done. Believe in yourself, my friends. Believe in your ability to make a difference.
The future is not something that happens to us, my friends. It is something we create together through our actions, our choices, our unwavering commitment to building a better world. Join us on this journey of transformation. Let M. Joga Coaching and Consulting be your guide, your ally, your partner in achieving career excellence. The best way to predict the future is to create it. Abraham